Hi YouTube, so here I am with a new series of videos, this time with the topic GNU slash Linux and PCI or PCI Express devices. How to access PCI devices in GNU slash Linux. So, but before I show you my agenda, I want to talk a little bit about what is PCI and PCI Express and from where you maybe already know it. So PCI stands for Peripheral Component Interconnect and if you are a gamer or you have switched your graphics card once, you have already seen a PCI Express device because graphic cards are normally connected over PCI Express to the CPU. So if you want to install this graphic card in your PC, all you have to do is find a suitable PCI Express slot like the one up here and put the card in the slot. After that the CPU should detect it on startup. So this is a PCI Express slot, it's a little one down here too, and these two slots are PCI slots. But what are the differences between PCI and PCI Express? Well, PCI is the older one and PCI uses a parallel bus interface to connect um, peripherals to the CPU, while PCI Express uses a serial interface. But nevertheless, from a software point of view, PCI Express is compatible to PCI. From a hardware point of view, this is obviously not the case, because you can't put a PCI card into a PCI Express slot. But, okay, so you can use PCI or PCI Express to add things like graphic cards, Ethernet cards, audio cards, or a card with USB ports on it to your computer. But um, PCI Express is also used on your main board to connect such things like an onboard graphic card or a memory controller or a USB hub to your CPU. So, if you search for PCI devices on your PC, you will find more devices than the one you have put into these slots. Okay, so much for the basics of PCI and PCI Express. Now let's talk about what videos I want to make about this topic. So now we are here at our introduction and then I will make a video about the LSPCI command, which will show you all the PCI and PCI Express devices found on your system. And LSPCI is written in C and uses the PCI library. And I will make a video about how to set up um, the PCI library on your PC and how to compile the LSPCI program. In another video, we will talk about the PCI configuration space and write a simple program to print out the PCI header. Then we will take a look at PCI and PCI Express capabilities and about BAR sizes. BAR stands for Base Address Registers and they are used to map the memory of a PCI device to our CPU. And then we will leave user space and I want to show you how to access PCI and PCI Express devices with a Linux kernel module. And for this case I've bought me this little PCI card here, which will add a parallel port to my PC. And I'm using this card because the parallel port is a quite simple interface, and so it should be easy for us to write a driver for it. Okay, so much for the introduction, and I hope I will see you in my next PCI and PCI Express videos.